the healthiest foods from Walmart. Yes, you can actually find some healthy foods at Walmart. So I want to tell you what I buy at Walmart today. Now, why am I telling you this? I was on a panel the other day and one of the speakers on the panel said, hey, healthy food is too expensive. Thus, most people can't eat healthy. Yeah, they actually said this. Now, sure, buying better quality meats and organic produce does usually cost more especially in light of fast food prices, which are usually pretty cheap. However, I disagree with the statement that healthy food is too expensive. You just have to know how to find the good stuff at a good price. Granted, that takes some extra detective work and time scouring labels. Now, I've done a video both on healthy foods at Costco and at Trader Joe's, and it's time to take you with me to Walmart, of all places. Go to the produce aisle. Fun fact, did you know that Walmart is the largest purveyor of organic produce in the United States? Now, it's true that new research has suggested that you might actually get a better deal on organic produce at Aldi's, Trader Joe's, or even sometimes at Whole Foods. But if you're at Walmart and you're getting garden supplies or a new shower curtain, you might as well save time and stock up on some organic produce. Speaking of which, most Walmart organic produce are in a fairly small section, usually in the middle of the produce or at the end of the aisle of produce. So you got to look for it. Also, make sure you read the labels on the vegetables or fruit to make sure it's organic. Now, personally, I like to buy some non-organic products in the produce section at Walmart, particularly the avocados, the limes, the yellow and red onions, and those sort of things that I'm going to peel off the peel. I feel it's okay, particularly when price is an object, that if you're going to take the peel off of something, you're going to lessen quite dramatically the exposure to herbicides and pesticides. I mean, who can't beat a dollar avocado? Also, in the produce section, there are minced jars of garlic, which if I can get you using garlic on a regular basis, easily by having it already pre-chopped, you're a long way to improving your health. Garlic has some fantastic health properties for making the inside of your blood vessels slipperier than uh, normal. All right, let's head over to the milk and dairy section. Now, bad news. I've yet to see any A2 milk or A2 milk products at Walmart. That doesn't mean they don't exist in your area, but Almost all milk at Walmart is casein A1. And if you follow me, that's a lectin-like protein that's a mischief maker for many people. Most of the yogurts are mainstream and sugar-laden and just stay away from the milk and yogurt section. Now, goat's milk is available in cans. Also in the deli section, which is usually near the produce, they carry a few goat cheeses. Roth or Montechevra were the brands I spotted. Now, like Trader Joe's, Walmart also carries feta cheese that's not made from goat or sheep. So you got to read the label. And please, just because the cheese says brie doesn't mean it came from France. you got to read the label. Again, why is that important? Because most of our cheeses are made with casein A1 milk. Most French, Italian, and Swiss cheeses are made from casein A2 milk. Much better for you. Now, there's also unsweetened coconut milks and almond milks if you need a milk. Not sure what you're going to pour it on, but that's another subject. They also have canned coconut cream, which we use extensively in our recipes here. Now, for occasional treats, Walmart does carry Rebel ice cream. Most of the flavors are compliant, but please stay away from the peanut butter. 
Now, Rebel Ice Cream Sugar Free even has some fiber in it. So if you're going to indulge, that's the one to grab. Fish at Walmart is really good if you know what you're looking for. It's usually in the frozen section. They have great deals on wild salmon, wild caught golf shrimp, wild caught sea bass, wild caught mahi mahi, and wild caught lobster. But what impresses me the most at Walmart is their canned shellfish and fish. They have many wild caught tuna options like the high end Tonino brand and wild planet brand. There's also wild caught salmon and grab and go packets, great for road trips or airline travel because they're trying to kill you on the airlines. There's also mackerel, sardines, smoked oysters, caviar, and clams in cans. Now, as far as beef, lamb, pork, animal options, there are no good options for you at Walmart. There's not even an Italian made prosciutto. Remember, you are what you eat, but you are what the thing you're eating ate. All Walmart carries is industrial poultry, pork, and beef. These are chock full of antibiotics, Roundup, and fed inflammatory feed like corn, oats, wheat, and soy. Please avoid at all costs any animal products at Walmart. How about prepackaged goods and snacks? Now, I'm sorry, healthy prepackaged snacks like chips and crackers are not available at Walmart, but there are jars of okra, just avoid the sugar one, and hearts of palm. Now, there's also very slim pickings on nuts and seed butter, but they do have a nice organic tahini. The brand is Mighty Sesame Company. Bread options, there's nothing to see at Walmart, but they do have two tortilla options in the freezer section. Siete cassava tortillas and Tua Lupita uh, nopal cactus tortillas, and both are good options for you. How about baking supplies and dressings? Now, sadly, there really aren't any alternative flour available at Walmart, but neither is allulose. Now, as you probably know, allulose is my preferred sweetener of choice. Yeah, there's stevia at Walmart, but if you got to have it, you're better off going on Amazon looking for non-GMO allulose. This compound, which is a true natural sugar, actually feeds good gut bacteria. Now, they can actually find some good chocolate options like Lindt or Ghirardelli's 72 to 90% cacao bars. Now, for oils, I actually am impressed with the quality of the brands for cold-pressed olive oil and others like walnut. Now, interesting, here's a hot tip for you. Most of the things I'm recommending, you've got to look up at the top two shelves to find these items. La Torre Gel Walnut Oil is available and Carrington Organic Hemp Oil is also available, as well as Spectrum Organic Sesame Oil. Look for the ones in the glass bottles. Also, they have some actual excellent organic glass bottled olive oil, like California Olive Ranch, and Cola Vita. Preferably look for the single origin olive oils from these companies. Believe it or not, organic Bragg's apple cider vinegar is there, as well as aged balsamic vinegar. Again, look for them up at the top. That's where they're hiding. Organic unsweetened coconut flakes are another baking staple, and I use these, as you know, in a lot of my baked good recipes in all my books. Now, plain peeled nuts are plentiful available at Walmart. Not opting for the non-organic nuts that have a shell on them are generally safe. How about beverages? Well, teas are a good buy at Walmart, and there are several organic options like traditional mendicinals. Besides this, you can stock up on coffee. However, the organic coffee beans come in dark roast. As you may have learned, the darker the roast, the less the polyphenol content. So whenever you can buy light roast, at worst medium roast, to get more polyphenols. 
Not much else at Walmart is good for your gut health. Sure, there's water like hint, but most of these come in plastic bottles. Walmart can be a good resource for some groceries, but it's also a minefield of foods that will destroy your gut health. Walmart is a better source for deals on glass, Tupperware, BPA-free Ziploc bags, stainless steel utensils, and even safe ceramic pans. So, wherever you go, happy shopping with your detective hat on. And no, Walmart did not pay me to make this lecture. Again, I dedicate my life to bringing you real-life tips to help make your journey to health affordable and easier. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. More amazing episodes just like this one. Watch now. If a fungus or bacteria isn't interested in eating your bag of lettuce, you probably shouldn't be interested in eating that bag of lettuce either.